Green Arrow is all like racist and stuff. new video new day new topic i don't know i said new video already so i got confused today i want to give you a top five yes Ooh, a top five of the best elseworld stories in dc well elseworld is dc so yes i don't know just take it number five the nail you know nail this story is awesome. Basically, is what happened if the cans, you know, super parents in Earth, what happened if they weren't in the same place where the ship crash landed because there was a nail on the road and they had a flat tire. Basically, that's the main thing. But what happened? Everything changes. Superman is not there. So the Justice League doesn't have Superman to be, you know, the main, the, the truth and the thing and the American way. So you have, you have a Justice League, but at the same time, you have Lex Luthor with these people like Perry White and Jimmy Olsen and even Green Arrow just spearheading a campaign against metahumans. Green Arrow is all like racist and stuff. They are monsters. They are here to conquer the world and stuff like that. He goes like really paranoid. And a really interesting thing is that Batman goes crazy because he's in Arkham Asylum and there's a thing there. I don't want to say because I want you to read it, but number four, Elseworlds Finest. This one is basically a gender swap version, but not, not exactly like that. It's a change of history. What happened if the main survivor from Krypton was Kara sor -El, and what happened if Barbara Gordon lost her parents saving the Waynes and then she became bad girl, bad woman, bad woman, bad girl, okay. But kind of like a Batman bad girl and Kara sor -El is like a Superman Supergirl. It's pretty interesting. It gives you a different perspective of the DC Universe and it's really fun to read. Next one, number three, Batman Holy Terror. This is again a different story. In this one, the United States is kind of like a Puritan thing. They became like a theocratic government, you know, God and stuff like that. And you have Bruce Wayne that he's going to become a cleric. But after he learns the truth from Inquisitor Gordon, he becomes the Batman. He becomes an anti-establishment hero. He's going to get revenge from the state not from the criminals and stuff no from the state he's going to get revenge from the government it's a really weird thing because you're used to Batman being like a like a you know I'm going to put this guy into jail even if he escapes stuff like that but now no now he's against the government now he's against the state there you go praise Batman go Read it. Number two, Kingdom Come. In this one is, well, again, this is the thing. I love this one mainly because of the art. Alex Ross made like his best work here. Everything is so realistic. Everything is so detailed. He doesn't only create like the main characters from the DC Universe. No, he creates dozens and hundreds of other superheroes just out of his mind. So it's really awesome to see. It's like a painting. But at the same time, the story is really cool. It's in the future. What happened with the old heroes? They are all retire and you have this new generation of heroes but they're all violent you know ah yeah let's kill everyone so the old heroes have to come out of retirement to just put the stop into this and then you have Batman because he's always right and everyone knows that he's always right he has like a mixed team with old heroes and new heroes and it's a really awesome fight and it's really beautiful to see so just do yourself a favor and read it and number one Superman Red Sun. It sounds like a, like a typo. No, it's Red Sun. Like Sun. What happened if Superman, instead of landing in Kansas, he lands in Ukraine. He's raised in the Soviet Union by farmers and government and stuff like that, basically. So he becomes like a supporter of the Soviet Union. He becomes a weapon against capitalism. He becomes Stalin's right hand. So you have like all these counterparts, communist or Soviet counterparts from the superheroes that you already know. And it's really cool because it's like a bunch of decades. I don't know, Superman becomes like the main guy. I don't want to say anything else. That's the main thing about these lists that I don't want to say anything to spoil it to you it's really awesome i just want to say it's really awesome and this is the last one if you have a story that you maybe wanted to be on the list just leave it in the comments if you thought that maybe one of these stories shouldn't be on the list just leave it in the comments if you like the video leave a like and if you don't like it leave a like too because it's really easy it's, it's easy and free so you should do it i don't know if you haven't subscribed just press the red button over there and it will turn from red to gray and everyone knows that gray is better it's just prettier just do it and as i always say bye